Hey guys, and welcome to Provax. Don't forget to subscribe for more weekly videos and check out the Facebook page. The flu. It is not fun to get, and it is also not fun to give. It's kind of like the opposite of Christmas. Plus, there's the everyone avoiding you and telling you to stay away from them kind of thing. So what if I told you there was this magical thing you could get every year to help prevent you from getting the flu? Well, if you guys have been paying attention to any of my previous videos, you would know there exists such a magical thing. The flu shot. Now, I know that was a little much, and the flu shot is not this magical thing that is going to 100% prevent you from getting the flu, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't get it. In this video, I will be going over why you should get the flu shot and debunk the myth that you can get the flu from the flu shot. I will also be acknowledging the pitfalls of the vaccine because I don't only want to share one side of the story, but even with the flu shot's negatives, there is one critical takeaway you absolutely cannot get the flu from the flu shot. So first off, let's talk some basics of the flu shot. The flu shot is, depending on the specific manufacturer you receive, a subunit vaccine. To learn more about subunit vaccines, please click this link right up here. There are some manufacturers who make an inactivated form of the vaccine. I also do want to mention the nasal form of the vaccine. This is mostly used internationally, but this form of the vaccine does utilize a live attenuated version of the virus, but it cannot grow in the respiratory tract. Also, this version of the vaccine is no longer licensed in the US due to its low efficacy. This is only in the US, however, and elsewhere the reports are much better. So to summarize the syringe form of the vaccine, it is either a subunit or an inactivated form of the virus. Now, those of you who have already seen my mini series on the different classes of vaccines will know that for inactivated and subunit vaccines, it is impossible to get an infection. An inactivated vaccine uses a killed version of the virus and a subunit vaccine only uses bits and pieces of the virus, specifically the antigenic portions. So then why is there stigma surrounding the flu shot? And why do people still believe that you can get the flu from the flu shot? Well, first of all, most people don't know that this vaccine uses a dead version of the virus or even just bits and pieces, depending on which one you get. Most people probably don't even know that there are five types of vaccines. But you guys should all know, right? I mean, you've all watched my initial videos, right? Anyways, lack of understanding the vaccine aside, there are other factors to look at. First of all, did you know that it can take up to 14 days? That's two weeks to actually gain immunity from a vaccine? That's right, anywhere from seven to 14 days to fully form an immune response is typical when someone receives a vaccine. This is because just like when you get sick and it takes anywhere from a few days to a couple weeks to combat the infection and for your immune system to learn how to neutralize the pathogen, the same exact thing is happening when you get a vaccine. The only difference is that you don't get physically sick. So this means that during that time period, you can still get sick. So you get the flu shot and then start hanging out with people with the flu. Well, then guess what? You will most likely get the flu. Now, remember when I just said you don't get the physical symptoms of the flu? Well, you kind of do. This is because your immune system thinks you're sick. It responds just like you're sick. This means it will release interferon and other cytokines to protect your cells from the virus it thinks that you have. This means you get all those lovely flu-like symptoms. This is also the reason why almost every virus lists flu-like symptoms as their symptoms, because almost every virus gets the same treatment from your immune system. This means when people say, I got the flu shot and got the flu and was sick for like two whole days, you know they were lying because if you've had the flu, you know it is much longer than just two days. Rather, it was their immune system protecting them and responding to the vaccine, thinking that it was a real virus. Another reason people might not think the flu shot is effective could be maybe they get infected with the flu and then they get the flu shot a couple days later. See, when you get sick, it can take a few days for the pathogen to incubate and grow inside of you before you start to show symptoms. During this incubation period, you are highly contagious, but you probably aren't showing symptoms yet. This is also dangerous because since you're not showing symptoms, you're walking around and interacting with people thinking that you're all well, when in reality you're sick and spewing germs everywhere. So then you get your flu shot, but it's too late. 
Then you wake up the next morning with a fully incubated flu and you think, great, I got the flu from the flu shot. But in reality, you just waited a smidge too long to get your flu shot. Do you guys know anyone who thinks they can get the flu from the flu shot? If so, why not share this video with them and everyone else? Otherwise, I hope you guys like this video. Like this video if you liked it. Leave a comment down below for ideas for future videos or anything else really. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell icon to be notified when I upload more videos. Thank you.